Scorpio, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela. Let's get into this. Scorpio, we're going to, to explore the energy of you or your person, what they might be thinking and feeling at this time, but not saying. Could be out of pride or just could be circumstances. Let's get into this. Let's see what's going on for the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Accept love. All right. So I'm feeling like there may be someone, it could be even be an earth sign, but really truthfully, it could be any sign. They may be wanting to come in to give you this love. Or maybe there's somebody that you feel eternally connected to, possibly. Maybe there's this old wound that's festering between you and someone, and maybe someone is wanting to come and heal the situation. Align your actions with your intentions. So I'm feeling like actions may speak louder than words when it comes to you and someone, and you may want to know their intention in coming toward you. I feel like the foundation of your relationship was cracked. For some of you possibly due to infidelity, or for others of you, lies, deception. This could be a friendship, this could be a love, a family situation. No, no, yeah, love relationship. It could have something to do with matters of the heart. You guys may see things from completely different perspectives. They, you may see it one way and they may see it another. For some of you, this could even be an interracial couple or there could be some international differences between the two of you guys. And that could have been something that kept you guys apart or that could have caused that could be driving a wedge between the two of you. Maybe you're feeling the need to protect yourself or for some of you, Scorpios, there is a need to put psychic protection around you. It could be some type, someone that's trying to penetrate your energy. But I do feel like somewhere in this scenario, somebody is not really revealing all that there is to know about a situation. They may be not telling you everything that there is to know about the situation. This is a time to trust your feelings over what other people say. Or for any type of, uh, trust your feelings uh, over any lines that anybody is trying to feed you, Scorpio. Somebody is being deceptive. And I'm feeling like someone wants to come in to heal the past. And somebody's looking for a fresh approach. And maybe looking for a decision. Somebody may be making a decision about whether or not to come toward you. To be your mom or your dad. Possibly a Sagittarius or someone with strong Sag in their chart. Maybe making a decision about this. Somebody was caught two-timing you. This would be a soulmate for some of you guys, and I definitely see Leo. Soulmate connection was broken apart or disbanded because somebody may have been carrying on conversations online, had some type of online dating profile with other people. Bottom line, they were talking to some other people online. For others of you, you may have had an online connection with this individual. You guys may have met online. So maybe this Gemini involved in this scenario. Somewhere along the way, somebody gave up. But I'm feeling like over time, somebody may developing may be developing a new spark about this connection and may want to decide to begin this again. You guys may be in separation. You guys might be living in separate homes right now and you guys might be taking a break from this relationship. Some of you could be separated due to career or a career path or because of work. Random, somebody may wanna talk things over over brunch. Yeah, random. Some of you could have met on Tinder. Like I said, this would have been like an online type of connection that you had with somebody. And somebody may feel ghosted. For some of you, yeah, this is somebody that has some type of online recognition. <sighs> some of you are making career decisions like about your work and maybe whether or not to stick around in your current career. Random side note, let's get into this. What happened here between you Possibly another Scorpio or an Earth sign or Gemini. And we got Sag. I don't know. Something may come up in, in your energy field. 
Scorpio that may put you in this position to reassess where you want to be and if you're right the right person oh somebody's hands are tied at the moment it's like somebody I'm saying like patience is gonna work its way out like the situation will work its out but somebody's hands are tied it's like they want to come back with back to you with the ace of cups but I feel like something may happen over time. Somebody may need to put, somebody may be going through some things. They may be getting themselves together. Somebody's really not sure where the two of you stand. And yeah, it looks like somebody was caught cheating. There was some temptation that led somebody astray and put you in a position to no longer talk to one another. Okay, somebody is trying to make a decision about the future. Do they continue down the road that they've been going or do they backtrack to you? And somebody's making a decision about that and they're deeply contemplating it. They're thinking things over. Because it's like somebody has this very undeniable connection with you and somebody, this could have been somebody that you were married to or somebody that is now looking at marriage with you. Looking at something long term. When before they were just thinking about right now and the con not really thinking down the line the consequences. It's like somebody definitely gave in to some type of temptation. And maybe was caught flirting with somebody else and maybe you caught them in a lie about the fact that they were entertaining somebody else, someone else at the time. Maybe... Maybe you did hold on, some of you. Maybe you didn't want to become, maybe you didn't want to be alone. Maybe this is something that you wanted to work on at the time. Maybe you still felt like, even though you may have found out about some things that were a bit questionable, maybe you decided to continue on in the situation. But I'm feeling like the relationship was dealt its final blow and it was over. And now you guys are apart. Somebody's a bit too proud to reach out. It's like somebody doesn't, somebody feels like they have to walk on eggshells to kind of um, talk to you, to communicate with you. And this could be a long distance type of thing at this point. Truthfully, somebody is, is owning up to the fact that they've hurt you and they're wanting to come back to open up the conversation again between the two of you. But they're not really taking any type of um, measures to do that because they definitely see you as the resentful type. Someone that nags them and harps on them about the past and somebody that feels like you'll never let the past go. And based on that, they feel like this is going to be a roadblock that keeps you guys from beginning again. There was somebody else in the picture that maybe a husband or a wife was dealing with. Or some of you, this is a baby's dad. The truth came out about some type of cheating that took place here and it may be leading to a divorce and some of you may be going through a divorce but truthfully someone does not want this divorce they would love nothing more than to heal this with you oh i get sag you got queen of wands and you got sag is the first card out for some of you this is definitely a sag leo or an aries that's involved in the situation and you got an earth sign the earth sign here I think I have earth. Let's see. Who would the earth sign be? Or somebody with heavy earth in their chart. Yeah, it's definitely a Gemini, no doubt. Somebody. And there's a Scorpio. This could be your own energy. Yeah. Painted you a whole bunch of illusions. Tried to pull the wool over your eyes. And yeah, it's like somebody left or abandoned their family, abandoned their kid. And you've got your boundaries up. You're not wanting to be somebody saying, I, I, I want to see if we can be civil. Can we can we coexist? There may be a father that may have a lot of regrets about leaving his kids behind. Somebody has some temper issues and it led to a blow up. Somebody may want to make amends random with their children. So some of you, this could have been a situation, a blow up that you had with your family. And after some time, some tempers have pulled and you guys may come together to um, iron out some differences. Or this may be that somebody is kind of taking on that position and saying, can we fix this? Can we iron out these old issues? Somebody that brought you a lot of stress and somebody that, that, that is like 
maintaining this need to be right. And with this, this might be kind of hindering some type of, like bringing on some type of roadblock to, to, to um, handling some type of conflict. Somebody may be holding on to this fear of change. Or one of you might have this fear of change. Like I said, one of you may not want to be alone, but you may feel that it is absolutely time to surrender an unhealthy relationship. So I'm feeling like that may happen over time. All right, sorry about that. Scorpio and Cross Watcher, let's see. Somebody still has romantic feelings for you and they wanna come back together. But they don't feel, they definitely feel like you. the body language that you're giving off or the things that you're saying reflect otherwise. But yeah, they're definitely feeling stuck and feeling kind of emotional over this situation. Like they can't make heads or tails of this. All right. So let's see. Maybe they're, they're giving you your time to heal. Yeah. How are they feeling? What aren't they saying at this point? Scorpio, what is it that you might be feeling but not saying to your cross watcher? Remembering that this can go vice versa. There must be a Capricorn involved in this because I definitely see the devil and I definitely see a fire sign comes up. This could be a soulmate connection with a fire sign that you may have. Or Scorpio, you might have fire in your chart. Let's see. They feel like you're maintaining your distance. You got your guard up and you might be saying some nasty things to them or they just to kind of expect that. I couldn't tell you face to face. So somebody may have told you something online. You may have found out about something online. Yep, confirmation. Your body language is telling them all that they need to know. Where some of you, their, their body language showing you that they really are hurt. Somebody may have a very difficult time like seeing you so hurt. Somebody might be having a difficult time being vulnerable. Somebody is saying, yes, I was absolutely careless with you. And in being careless with you, somebody is saying, I hurt you. And I don't quite know how to go back and repair that. Somebody's saying it's time for me to heal now. You hurt me, and now I have to focus on my own healing. Somebody is acknowledging that they were careless with you. <sighs> I'm feeling like maybe at this point, because they can't get through to you, that it may be time to let each other go. They're wondering if you're happy without them. They often wonder, it crosses their mind because like I said, some of you could have gotten into a new relationship. And this is when they're, they're saying, I wonder if you've moved on, if you've gotten a new family, are you happy without me? And I'm feeling like somebody maybe realizing, especially if this is an Aries possibly, or an air sign, they may be realizing that it's time to focus on their healing. They don't quite know how, know how to go back, but somebody is not telling all that there is to know about the story. So maybe there's some misunderstandings, maybe there's some things that somebody wants to clear up with you. Maybe they're ready to come clean about some things. Yeah, it looks like Scorpio, there's some things in your life that may need to be healed and it could be affecting your health. I'm feeling like there could have been some type of injustice here, obviously with the 10 of swords that may have happened and I'm feeling like this could be an eye-opening type of thing for somebody. Yeah, maybe it's gonna prompt them to change. 
Who did I get that for? I believe I got that for Cancer. Or Pisces, I don't remember which one. Yeah, it's like, divine masculine. I believe I did get this for Pisces. For some of you, this is a soulmate. This is somebody that you were supposed to meet. And I'm feeling like in separation, somebody might be getting some psychic insight or maybe some insight into themselves about some things that they need to change, some things within themselves that they need to heal. Yeah? All right, so let's see. Let's bring on the advice for the uh, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpio, Holy Spirit, Scorpio. What is the advice for Scorpio boundaries? Yes, someone is stating a clear boundary with you. Love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and energy. Somebody may feel like it's time to, like I stated, place a clear boundary between the two of you so that they can focus on their own healing. Yeah. Some of you could be becoming single parents or some of you are now facing single parenthood because you are placing that boundary. Be worried about what the future holds and spirit is saying everything is gonna be just fine. Wow, undying love. The love that you shared is eternal regardless of the situation. I did say this might be a divine counterpart and in spite of all the pain associated to this connection there still might be this love connection that somebody is having a difficult time letting go of somebody might be sick yeah or some of you might just work in healthcare is what I'm feeling but that's what I see for you Scorpios and cross watchers if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can head over to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. If you found that this reading was helpful, Scorpios, feel free to leave a comment below. Consider subscribing if you already haven't. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.